it's crazy because I never even wanted to go permanent at all. When I first got them, I just liked the fact that they were easier. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my hair journey going on two years with my permanent locks, goddess locks. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it and um, hopefully if any of you are looking to going permanent or have ever thought of going you know, permanent, um, you may get some inspiration. What made me do it? So I really, 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 really liked them on Megan Good and I really wanted to go ahead and do that look and I did them three times, this is my third time having them on. The first time I did it, fell in love. Wanted to keep them, I kept them in actually for six months. But you know, I'm also an actress and I was kind of nervous about, you know, having that set look. Um, Cause sometimes they want you to switch it up and everything. So I took them out and a few weeks later, I literally put them back on. And I didn't really like them. I think it's the hair that I used. I want them to look more kinkier just because if I was to go permanent, I wanted them to blend in better. But I didn't really like that look for the actual goddess lock. So I took them out. The third time I did. These are them. And I fell in love. I liked the brown, the golden brown. So beautiful. And it's that time that I said, you know what? I'm going permanent. I'm no longer taking these out. First of all, we already know the process of putting them on and taking them out is forever. You know, like getting them takes forever. Taking them off takes forever also. So in my head, I just said, you know what? I'm going to keep them because I really like them. I've done them already. And this has been about a year and seven months with them on. Um, first, I like the first six months, I was having her continue to add hair. I had requested for her actually to do add dark brown hair instead of this so that it can blend better when my hair starts to grow out because eventually I didn't want to continue to add hair. So anyways, she added hair um, for a little bit until I told her to stop. And now this is about the growth. It's about four inches long. This is my natural hair, you see? And then this is where she stopped adding the hair. You see that? I don't even have to add edge control anymore. You know, like I will like when I'm going to jobs, stuff like that. But aside from that, I don't really need to add edge control. Another thing I love so much about them is the freedom. You know, I used to wear wigs. I used to do braids. Um, I have two children and that right there just wasn't working anymore. You know, the wigs was okay, but you know, it just get hot. You know, having to take the wig off, you know, I'm home. My husband doesn't want to see me in the little boy cornrows all the time because when I'm home with the kids, I, I throw that wig on the chair and I don't even want to think about the wig. My husband got tired of looking at me and my little cornrows and I knew there was something I needed to do. I needed to find something that was still manageable, sexy, and <laughs> and still able to do my daily stuff, you know, with work and everything. So this was them. I, I prayed about it. That vision board right there, I have a little segment in there that, um, it's crazy. I have a segment in there saying that I really wanted something easy and natural and um, and beautiful at the same time that will work with my look. So this right here, when it fell on my lap, I was ready for it. I wash them, and get out the shower, dry them, and I go about my day. You know, I do put, you know, of course, my um, castor oil and my spray, and that's it. I don't put too much product on them because you don't want buildup. I'll have another video um, describing the thing to do as far as care for them but yeah I literally just get up and go like I woke up like this I woke up like this flawless I woke up like this I woke up like this flawless <laughs> oh my god I also get them retwisted every four months. Like I don't have to get them twisted every single six weeks. I believe that people say you get retwisted. No, I let mine just continue to grow. Yeah, eventually I'm going to need to get them shortened just a little bit as time goes by, just so that my hair can continue to grow and they're not just getting so long, but they are getting, getting long. Hope you guys 
got some insight a little bit on the hair. If you have any questions, please put them on the comment box below. Subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna start making more videos of my journey and the things that I do. Follow me on my social medias. I'll put them on the description as well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.